Coming to the second problem, find a quadratic polynomial each with the given numbers as a product and sum of its zeros respectively. So the first one given to us is 1 by 4 and minus 1. So the sum of the zeros of the polynomial is equal to 1 by 4 and their product is equal to minus 1. So let us assume the quadratic polynomial as ax square plus bx plus c. We know that sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a. But the given sum of the zeros is equal to 1 by 4. So we can say that minus b is equal to 1 and a is equal to 4. That is b is equal to 1 and a is equal to 4. Also the product of zeros is equal to c by a which is nothing but the given product is equal to minus 1. So we can write c is equal to minus a. We also found the value of a to be 4. Therefore, c is equal to minus a nothing but minus 4. Therefore, we got the values of a as 4, b as minus 1 and c as minus 4. Now, substituting the value of a, b and c in the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c, we will be getting the polynomial as 4x square minus x minus 4. Hence, the required polynomial is 4x square minus x minus 4. Now, coming to the second bit. The sum of the zeros given is root 2 and the product is 1 by 3. So let us assume the required quadratic polynomial to be ax square plus bx plus c. We know that sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a and the given sum of the zeros to us is root 2. So this can be written as root 2 by 1. So by comparing we can say b is equal to minus root 2 and a is equal to 1. Also we know that the product of zeros is equal to c by a which is nothing but the product is given to us is 1 by 3. So we can say that c is equal to a by 3. But we have found the value of a to be 1 by 3. So finally we got a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus root 2 and c is equal to 1 by 3. Substituting the values of a b and c in the a polynomial ax square plus bx plus c we will be getting x square in place of b we can write root 2 which is root 2x and in place of c we can write 1 by 3. So the required polynomial is x square minus root 2 times of x plus 1 by 3. Now coming to the third bit, the sum of the zeros given to us is 0 and the product of the zeros is equal to root 5. So let us assume the required quadratic polynomial to be ax square plus bx plus c. We know that the sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a 
and the given sum of the zeros is equal to zero so that we can write zero can be written as zero by one so b is equal to zero and a is equal to one now the product of the zeros is equal to c by a and the given product of the zeros is root 5 so we can write c is equal to on cross multiplication c is equal to root 5 times of a but we found the value of a to be 1 so root 5 times of 1 is nothing but root 5 so finally we found out the values of a b and c that is a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to root 5. So let us substitute a b c in a x square plus b x plus c will be getting 1 times of x square plus 0 times of x plus root 5 which is equal to x square plus root 5. Therefore the required polynomial is x square plus root 5.